Grill Sergeant here. What's going on, Grill? I'm trying to record right now. If you're in the market for a pellet smoker and your last hurdle is deciding whether you should get a vertical smoker or a horizontal smoker, this video is for you. We're gonna cover all the unique features that each smoker offers. We're gonna look at the pros and cons. And at the end of this video, I'll give you my personal opinion if I just had to pick one, which one I'd go with. Let's start the show. You have to oh, hit the intro oh, button. This button. No, no oh, that's oh, zooming oh, in. What about now this I'm button? in black and white. Oh, no, oh, the one oh, above, yep, it. that's yep. it. Yep. Right, let's dive in. The short, easy answer to this hard question is buy both. But if your spouse and budget is somewhat like mine, that's gonna be a big fat nope. Before we look at the pros and cons, let's look at the unique feature each smoker provides. The two smokers I'll be comparing today is the Pit Boss Pro Series 1150 against the Pit Boss Brunswick Platinum Series Vertical Smoker. Now, personally, I prefer Pit Boss just because it's the best bang for the buck in my opinion, but if you're looking at other brands, it's all good. This information is gonna help you out. All right, let's look under the hoods. On the Pit Boss Pro Series 1150, you have 1,150 square inches of cooking space, and on the Brunswick, you have 1,164 square inches of total cooking space. But there's a difference in what's actually stated when it comes to the square inches and what you actually use. See this thing right here? This is the warming rack. It's great if you, in a sense, need the extra space, but since there's so little clearance between the bottom actual cooking grate and the warming rack, it's hard to flip stuff and turn stuff over. It's easier just to remove this out. I've never used this. I think the only time I've seen this in use is when you see like an advertisement of like, check out the new 1150. That being said, I don't use this. Well, what does that mean? Well, you don't have 1150 square inches of cooking space anymore. With the warming rack out of the way, let's look at what we're actually working with here. And to be honest, square inches confuses me. It's like, just tell me what I'm working with inches. This is America, okay? America. <laughs> so on the Pro Series 1150, you're basically working with 19 inches by 34 inches. Now on the Brunswick, you do have four racks and each of the racks is 13 inches by 22 inches. What I like what Pit Boss did with the Brunswick is they actually gave a lot of space in between each rack. So whether you're doing brisket, pulled pork, ribs, there's really nothing that you can throw at it that you would need to remove a rack. All right, now let's talk about hopper capacity. If you're asking what a hopper is, a hopper is a box that's either on the side of your smoker or in the back, and it holds your fuel source, which is pellets. On the Pro Series 1150, the hopper holds 32 pounds, and the hopper on the Brunswick holds 98 pounds of pellets. I just laugh when I say that's just so ridiculous. Like if you wanted to just turn your smoker on and leave it running continuously for four days, yeah, the Brunswick can do that. Now, both smokers can do an overnight barbecue smoke, easy peasy, no problem at all. But a big question I get asked a lot is, can I leave the pellets in my hopper? And the answer is, it depends. I leave my pellets in. That's because I live in Los Angeles. There is little to no humidity. Now picture your pellet like Superman. But just like the real Superman has his weakness and it's kryptonite, moisture and humidity is the kryptonite to the pellet, if that makes any sense. If your pellet gets exposed to humidity or moisture, the pellets actually start swelling and expanding almost like twice to three times its size. You can get an auger jam. After your cook, when it's cooled down, just empty it out. All right, now let's talk temperature. The Pro Series 1150 has a range of 180 to 500 degrees and the Brunswick has a range from 150 degrees up to 420 degrees. And on the 1150, because of the sear plate, I've actually seen temperatures, when you open up the sear plate, I've seen temperatures reach 600, 650, 700, when you have it directly over that flame. What do those temperatures actually mean? Well, on the vertical at 150, that's good for things like making beef jerky or putting a lot of smoke onto your protein before you actually turn up the heat to 250 to continue the cook. Whereas the 1150, 180 degrees is still a good temperature to smoke your meats at. But what's really nice is say if you're smoking steaks, at the end, you can actually crank up the temperature and then sear and give really nice sear marks on your steaks. When it comes to vertical smokers, I like to look at them as like the king of smokers. 
The heat distribution on the inside is really, really well done. Your burn pod is all the way at the bottom, but it's completely shielded off. And then the heat actually comes up through the sides. Pretty much from the bottom rack to the top, you have pretty even consistent temperatures. Whereas the horizontal style, it's more of like a jack of all trades. The burn pot is pretty much in the center. You're gonna see higher temperatures in the center and on the right side of the grill. So it's not even across the board. A question you need to ask yourself is what are you going to be using the smoker for? Is is it going to be solely for making jerky or smoking meats low and slow then the vertical smoker is probably going to be your best option but if you're looking at something to actually replace the gas grill and just to use for everything from you know doing hamburgers doing the low and slow cooks the horizontal option is a great one to look at now before i give you my pick if i could only choose one let's look at the pros and cons really quick starting with the horizontal smoker the biggest pro is this thing heats up in about half the time as the vertical smoker because of this huge chamber that's on the inside it takes almost double the time time to get this thing up to 250. So if you're coming out and be like, cool, I want to do a quick cook, this, yeah, you're not going to do that on the vertical. You're going to do that on the horizontal. Another one of its strongest pros is the sear plate, putting on that nice tomahawk steak and putting some beautiful sear marks on it. And lastly, there are more aftermarket modification parts you can order for a horizontal style smoker. Now I will post a video I did out kind of modding this smoker out and this thing is just an airtight smoke chamber now it's so awesome so do check that out but now let's look at the cons of this bad boy you get less square inches of cooking space if you take out the warming rack if you did want to use the warming rack there's very little space between the bottom grate and then the top warming rack and then the last con is when it comes to temperatures it can't get as low as the vertical smoker does but realistically i'm sure you can make jerky at 180 degrees come on now this is america you can do whatever you want all right, now let's talk about the pros of the vertical smoker. Pretty much double the size. So if you're looking as using this for feeding a lot of people, looking into catering, looking into like, you know, feeding a bunch of people at church or parties or whatever, vertical smoker is a great option. Big cabinet with even temperatures on the inside. If temperatures do fluctuate, it is easy to swap out the racks from top to bottom. With the lower temperatures, it is great and ideal for making jerky. Now, a few other pros that are specific to the smoker is underneath the control panel up top here you do have a little cubby and then you do have a front glass door now the glass door actually after a few smoke uh, smorks. Now the glass door after a few smoke actually gets pretty darkened but 50-50 vinegar and water and then spray that down wipe it and then you can take a what's called a razor scraper and all that stuff comes out and your glass is perfectly clean until your next smoke and then it does have a inbuilt light. I mean those really aren't deal breakers. Do I need a window? Not really. Do I need an internal light? For nighttime cooks it's like ooh, I can turn my light on and you know stare at my meat. <gasps> That's what she said. If you're a true barbecuer, if you're looking, you ain't cooking. So don't look at it. Just trust what it's doing. So I've run these things for 24 hours at a time. It gives no issues. Definitely a awesome, awesome smoker. The cons though, don't be thinking this thing is like the Mother Teresa of smokers because you know she does have some cons. The cons is this thing takes forever. forever ever to heat up. I mean, it's like a joke. Like if I'm gonna like start to film something, I literally have to like come out an hour before to get this thing prepped and ready. And then by the time she's, you know, up and ready, then I can start recording with stuff like ribs or brisket where you have to spritz down. Every time you open that door, all of that heat is like, hasta la vista, baby. Every time you open the doors, it does take a little bit longer to come back up to temp. And then when it comes to the variety of protein you cook, you're not gonna be cooking steaks in here it doesn't have the sear feature so this is mainly just a dedicated smoker now to answer the hard question of if i could only pick one which one would i choose and as much as i'm a fanboy of the vertical style smokers I actually find myself realistically using the horizontal style smoker about 90% of the time. The majority of the stuff I'm smoking on here, whereas the long overnight cooks or if I'm cooking for a church event or a party, I will use the vertical. But for the most part, for me and my family, this bottom grate 
is ample space for what I need to feed my family for. If you do want to see this vertical smoker in action, you can click here. If you did want to see the horizontal smoker in action, you can click here. Catch you guys on the next one.